like to thank everybody who made the effort and put out the money to join with us today because this is getting to be an expensive hobby just getting somewhere. So we had a nice turnout, beautiful weather. Uh, thank all of you for your participation. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with the awards. The, after we finish the awards, we'll do the raffle. The Chevy will go separately. If anybody's interested in the raffle ticket for the Chevy, that's a separate raffle. The rest of them will do, you get your pick. There's eight other models here. So I'll take a little bit of a break. What we are doing is we're using um, the profits, hopefully, from the raffle to help offset the trophies and our expenses for this. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Bob Alexander for uh, all of his efforts in making sure that uh, this came off today and the liaison with the, uh, the county and the museum folks. Bob also has some old dash plaques from previous years uh, that he would like to get rid of and the club would like to get rid of. Dollar a piece. We also have some club patches. See Bob. Bob, thank you for your effort. I I took care of a weatherman too. Yeah, you did. Well, that was the hard thing. Yeah, what do we owe? What do we owe him for that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the fire museum has some Aaron Fox T-shirts that uh, they are selling, and they're up there if you haven't seen them. So now we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Pre-1935. Well, no, let me do something else. Um, <laughs> I can only read this. Uh, what you cheaters if we could have Alan Hahn come up. Alan, where are you? <laughs> Alan's 1924 Model T, which was down there pumping today, was best appearing privately owned at Graf last year, and it appears on our trophies and our dash plaques this year. Now, starting off, pre-1935 commercial chassis, <coughs> class winner, um, Alan Miller with the 1917 Model T. Now, Also, pre 1935, goes to Westminster Volunteer Fire Department for their 1924 American LaFrance ladder. Someone from Westminster. <laughs> Here comes the young man. And what we did, the reason there's two 1935s was commercial chassis was one category, Mac, LaFrance, Seagrave, Hirsch, uh, et cetera, the, the custom yeah. stuff was another category. <laughs> okay, 1936 to 51, commercial. Goes to 1946 International by the same guy who won Mom, the first one. <laughs> Nothing to do with this. We have a selection of judges who uh, come from all over. Look, look at the camera. You oh, bring the camera. Smile. Smile. Yeah, there you go. You probably should stay up here. And then 1936 to 51, Alvin Renal, 1947 Mac. Break the camera, honey. Look over there. Look over there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> 52 to 66 commercial goes to a 1954 Chevy Howe. Mr. Stewart. 
1952 to 66, custom stuff goes to a 66 Mac blue shawl. Look at the camera. Uh, break it. <laughs> <laughs> My haircut. Yeah. 1967 to 91, and I will never consider a 91 a antique. <laughs> but anyway, it goes to a 74 International brought by J and A Hoffman. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. And the 67 to 91 custom goes to the 71 Mac aerial scope. I think this is the first muster in over 20 years where we've had just about every type of aerial device or ladder truck available. Job. City service, aerial scope, tractor trailer, it's be a big man, newsletter. Uh, <laughs> uh, midship, uh, lead display of aerial apparatus this year. No water tower. No water tower, right. Whose Who's fault is that? is that? <laughs> yeah, Frank. Who do we know that has a water tower? <laughs> or two. All right, then we get into grafting, and I'm going to wait till the end of this to tell you who the winner was, which we'll use next year on our trophy. But a class winner draft goes to a 37 Seagrave owned by somebody Jones. <laughs> If he had picked the judges, I would have said it was rigged. Uh, another class winner of draft goes to 79 Mac, Mark Higgins. Hey, Mark. Thank you, sir. Another class winner of draft goes to <laughs> yeah, 73 Seagrave from Leesburg, Virginia. Now this next one we should probably give money instead of a trophy. Yeah. This is for longest distance driven and it was the 73 Seagrave tractor drawn 100 foot aerial and it came from Easton, Maryland, Daly Kokora. drafted from the pond, and that's Lou Klepich. <laughs> the interesting thing about that is Steve Heaver repainted that thing 20 whatever years ago for somebody else, and then Lou found it in the building and bought it. Or Timmy. All right, class winner static display, 1937 Seagrave, Buddy Sutton. Oh! He still won another trophy. <laughs> Look at the camera. Okay. How's your hair? No, <laughs> the video only has the half. Class the winner static display, 1940 Chevy G. Rickrude. Last winter static display. We did it. There we go. <laughs> International you, American Norman Schaefer. <laughs> 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 
leave? Okay. Yeah, he left. Are you going to give it to him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I didn't see it. Um, also, play a splitter static display uh, goes to the 73 aerial from Baltimore City daily, and he's not here. Uh, class winner, even though it isn't fire service, um, but we have to think about them sometimes. Goes to a 70 Cadillac Amlands, owned by my big buddy, Steve Lickman. Hey! You would grumble about it. Did you have it. to jump start that thing? Yeah. Is that why problems yeah. ends in EMS? <laughs> <laughs> Next year, bring a fire truck. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I got it. And then the judges award goes to a 73 snorkel, Bob Stinsmore. Now, the one that we'll use on next year's Dash Black and Trophy, privately owned at draft, yep. okay. goes to the 47 Aaron's Fox, which was Cumberland Fire Company of Carlisle, owned by James Frank, that's only if they Couple bring it where we can take a picture of it. There That's only if they bring it down so I can get a picture of it a little bit. Now, could you all bring that over so we can get a picture to use? So I'll put it up on the hill for you over there. Well, that's too far. You want to walk that far? I got it. Gotcha. Now, if I've done everything right, there's nothing left. Kenny. That'll Kenna. be the only time today. I'll take, uh, I'll take Mike we'll Storch. We'll take about a two-minute break if anybody wants raffle tickets. Mike Storch. Uh, remember Red that pretty shabby. Right. this yeah. one is Tell being Frank. done separately. The rest of them is winner's choice. So I'll give you about two minutes. In other words, I'm trying to get you to spend a little more money uh, for the club. Do you all?